Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, we're gonna be checking on our goats after giving them those antibiotic shots uh, that you saw in that last video and see how they're doing. Now, I noticed that uh, Bonnie, our small baby white goat, she was laying out in the field here or in our little pen and she had her head down. So let's go check on her real quick. Bonnie doesn't look like she's doing very good over there. You all right there, Bonnie? You doing okay? You doing okay? Huh? How you doing? You doing okay? You sitting there chilling? What about you, Clyde? Boy, you look like you're doing good eating all that grass. I was a little nervous there because I thought, uh, I thought she wasn't doing very good because I was looking out the back window and all I saw was this little white patch just laying on the ground and I didn't see her head up. So I thought, oh boy, this isn't good. So I better come check on her. Come here. You need some warming up? I'll put you down. You doing okay, girl? <coughs> well, I actually just might have to bring her inside. Like I said, I might have to bring her inside. Uh, it's only about day two since she's had her shot. Maybe we'll just put heat lamps on for her. See how she does. Oh, Clyde here. How you doing, Clyde? How's that eye? How's your eye doing? Huh? How's the eye doing? How's the eye doing, huh? Hey, mm. what's going on, bud? Oh, he's still a little goopy. Yeah. Let's get you guys some food. Should we get you guys some food? We need some good sunny days, don't we? We need some good warm days. Help you get over that cold. I'm kind of wondering if some of that good RX might help. It's kind of like a methyl methylanium. Yeah, it's kind of like methylanium. Today, Junior. Ah, I can't say it right now. It's kind of like a methylanium. Uh, you guys, I'm trying to talk. Hello. Methylanium. Boom. There you go. It's like a methylanium, and. Um, opens up their airways you know how it works for us i wonder if i can use that on goats because i know the good rx uh oh will work i gotta go shut this water off guys i'll get you some food in a second i gotta go shut that water off i know guys i know Always. You know what? We're going to get some mineral for you. You guys want some chow? Oh man. Yeah, pretty much ripping that apart, huh? These guys, they faint whenever they have to do anything. Their little bodies lock up, but they still find a way to eat, huh? You still got that goopy eye? Yeah, a little better, a little better. Looks like you guys are gonna need a new food bowl here soon. What I did is I went down back to the house and uh, got some Vet RX. We're gonna put this on her nose and see if it can help her open up those airways and uh, see if we can help with this little breathing problem that she has. Because if uh, the antibiotic doesn't start kicking in and this doesn't open up her airway, 
I'm gonna have to take her to the vet. I'm gonna have to find a vet first of all. So uh, let's let's see if this helps. Oh. Let's get a little dab of this. Sorry if you're staring at the the business end of that goat, but I'll put a little bit on her nose. That ought to help her breathe a little bit better. You guys, would you just let them eat, huh? Would you let them eat for crying out loud? Let them eat. I really hope that kind of does the trick because like I said, I'm running out of options here. Ah oh, man, hey! Sorry, I had to deal with some naughty goats. I find this extremely useful for cleaning out their uh, their water trough because you guys know if you guys dump these things, they just create a big mud puddle, nastiness, gets all sloppy. It seems like to be an area that never dries. And all that water goes to waste when all you're wanting to do is just clean out some debris. Now, if this thing gets green, I definitely tip her over, wash her out. But when the water's nice and clear and you get a windy day and it just fills it up with leaves, it does a really good job at catching all that small stuff, you know? Not too bad. It only costs a couple bucks at Walmart anyways, and they come in handy. All done. Yeah, these little guys have to come down here to eat. Because those butt heads up there, I don't understand it one bit. Not one bit. They have plenty of food down here in their food bowls. They have plenty of food in their food bowls here. But they choose to go up there and eat these little guys' food. And then they come and eat their food. And it's just it's just dumb. It's ridiculous. And look what they've done to their the food trough up there. They've tore up that food bowl. They've bent it down. Yeah, you guys are jerks. Jerk faces. So the one thing I didn't tell you guys is Clyde, <laughs> we're not going to take his balls off. <laughs> we're going to leave him as a buck, which means these guys are going to get a rude awakening. Yep, enjoy it while it lasts, boys, because uh, when he gets a little bit bigger, he'll be running things. And Mama, better say hello to your new boyfriend. I'm telling you what. It's going to rain here in the next day or two, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to put this crew, and we're going to put them over there. We're going to let them eat on that a little bit, and give these little guys a little break that they deserve just to get, uh, you know, over whatever it is that they have, and not have to worry about, you know, getting bullied away from their food and water, or having a warm place to sleep. Now, they do have multiple options to sleep here, or... I'm telling you what, it's comical. Um, here or in the goat house. Now, I haven't seen the goats chase them out of a place to sleep yet. Obviously because there's multiple areas. Our goats, the larger adult goats, they like sleeping up here when the weather's nice. And they like being down here when the weather is a little rainy. They like sitting underneath this awning right here. Don't know why. Uh, they typically don't go in the goat house unless it's really freezing cold. Uh, these little guys, they sleep up there underneath the tree. We're back there in the corner uh, when the nights are nice and warm, which we've had a couple of them so far. But mostly, they like to head inside the goat house and, and they sleep in the corner in there. So don't worry about where they're sleeping at. They're getting a good place to sleep. So uh, that's about it. So that's going to cover everything for today. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks, guys.